My name is Manu Gill. I am a relatively new mom um, to Kesar, who was born about a year ago. I remember feeling like the days leading up to it because we were getting warned. I just remember feeling really anxious. Um, I was at that point eight and a half months pregnant, almost nine months pregnant. It was just kind of a blanket of heat when you went out. It was, you know, you couldn't even open the door for too long. It was just, yeah, it was just something you hear about like in the desert, you know, that, it, but it was happening here. We are an active-ish family. We go out every day with our dog. Um, and you know, those things were happening. And it was only a stretch of four or five days or whatever it was. But you know, if you think about what that means for the future, that could be the whole summer that we're sitting indoors because our you know, planet is too hot. It was after when he was born that it became hard because that's when the fires were in Kelowna and we had all the smoke and they're breathing in that air and these tiny fresh new lungs you know when it was just me or me and my husband? We could deal with the smoke, it's fine. But then right, like when you have a kid, it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> their lungs are still developing. What does this mean for him? I, I can't tell you how many times I Googled um, smoke exposure infants <laughs> to find out what the you know, complications, potential complications could be for him. Obviously I was a new mom at that time. I was worried about everything, but it's scary. You know, it's gonna come again this year, next year, or, or whenever it does. And probably for longer, probably more frequently. That part's really scary. You can't help but think about the world you're bringing your kid into. That part's the hardest, just thinking about him, yeah.